Okay, so I just finished One Punch Man season two, episode uh, seven, and that was good. I I gotta give it to JC staff. I was I really doubted them in the beginning, and I'm not saying they're, they're perfect or anything like that. But this episode was good and entertaining. It it there was there was a a lot of good stuff in it, and they actually like just cut to the chase. They didn't like add too much talking to like you know fill the gaps and stuff like that and they kind of just show the action which is what i'm sure we all have been waiting for okay so it kind of starts off with uh saitama is about to fight this one dude where he talks about he's some genetically modified thing he's been breeded for generations on generations and now he's he's gonna be some amazing monster or he's better than humans he's more stronger and more capable than the common person and of course you know the Saitama we all know and love just boop hits him like a little water balloon just throws him right out of the ring so I'm like you know that's typical we also see uh there there was a scene where the, you know all the monsters are coming in and like attacking and apparently there's I didn't know this hero was a thing his name is pig god and he just swallowed a snake lady. And I'm just like, wait a minute. What just happened? What just happened? But whatever. He There's a there's a hero named Pig God. So basically he can like eat anything. He's like a jiggly, not a jiggly puff, but a, a Kirby. He's basically a Kirby. And just can just suck everything up. So it's like nothing. Then in the beginning, in the very beginning, we see the Monster King Orochi. Or Ori, yeah, Orochi, I would say, Orochi, Orochi is talking, and he's the monster king, so he's basically, I would say, the head in what spawns these monsters, and, and, you know, he's like, what do you expect from that, unless you watch the manga, you're like, man, like, how strong is this dude, you know, we kind of get like a, a, a visual of how he, how big he is, but he's not moving, he's just sitting there, and his eyes are gro- like just glowing. And it's like, bruh, what powers does he have? What what abilities? It's like, man, this is, that's an interesting uh, enemy. And I feel like that's going to be a very, very interesting fight. Then after the fight with uh, Saitama, just knocking that dude right out of the clean water. Then uh, apparently a couple other heroes show up about the fight. I, uh octopus looking monster thing and then you know they're trying to do they're doing their best a class hero is like we got it and s class hero comes in is like nah i got this and after he tried to he hit him a few times the uh techno whatever the lady the green little girl with green telekinesis pops up and just steals the show crushes that monster and just tosses it like it's a piece of garbage which is she's a savage she's a very powerful person and i, I don't know with her power I want to say she can give Saitama a run for his money, but she can easily, like, get Saitama, like, thrown off, you know what I mean? Like, just from the distance, because, you know, he's a close range. He doesn't even have to be a close range, which I will discuss <laughs> later on in this video. But he he doesn't even have to be close range to make, you know, do somewhat, like, of an attack, but he's more of a close range physical fighter. Then after the whole octopus monster thing, we get to Sem uh, Sonic, I believe, Sonic Samurai. And he's gathered a bunch of samurais talking with them like, hey, man, we need to band together to get this dude. This dude's a bad dude. And I don't think, you know, uh, what, what was his name? I can't remember. It's Silver Fang, yes. I don't think, they like, I don't think Silver Fang can handle him because he might go a little soft on him. So we need to band together and take him out. And so and all of them like, yup, yup, yup. And there's that one dude. We always got that one guy in the group was like, ha, ha, ha. You guys are weak and full, and then come to find out there's this thing on like monster cells or whatever where you can eat them and become a monster. So I'm guessing this is where all these monsters are coming from, and you can eat them and become a monster. And that's what the other guy did, and he was like, I'm going to cut all you guys' heads off, and you know, if you don't accept. And the guy was just, you know, they were just sitting there, they all were like chilling, they weren't even worried, but not, well, some of them were breaking a sweat, but. Sonic Samurai was like, okay, yeah. It's like I'm like, all right, you're an idiot. He pulls out his sword, cut him in a million different pieces. Like, don't even disrespect.
disrespect me, cuz. And now the other guys already know you don't disrespect some samurai boy. That's that's that nigga, bro. He he knows what he's doing. So then after that, they're like, all right, it's time to go. But first, we need to get rid of the uh, what's it called, uh, Monsters Association. I'm just like, snap. So now we're gonna have like a separate fight of Monsters Association, like about to attack you know was uh, about to get attacked and while the humans are being attacked i'm like this is this is gonna be real good there's gonna be a lot of information flying by i feel like in these couple of more episodes and you're gonna have to keep up like you're gonna have to really really keep up in order to like realize what's going on because i feel like a lot's gonna come through then after that we get to the fight with saitama i can't remember his name the the dude wearing the blue I'll, I'll have a picture on up a dude wearing like the blue suit thing and he wants to you know fight I, I i can't remember where he's from i think he was in the first season but i can't remember like what what was his thing like where he showed up but apparently he's really strong now and he was and so now he's fighting saitama you know he's kicking all over the place but not even let not letting hits on purpose and Saitama's just trying to hold his wig down so no one knows. He's like, oh, no, I don't want to get my whole hair messed up. Then comes to the point where Saitama was about to, le- le- like, legit go in for an attack. You know, he was doing his regular thing, like, you know, all right, I'm just going to punch the guy. And there was a moment of hesitation, just like we've seen where Saitama was fighting the Beetle King guy. Or Carnage, when he was fighting Carnage, and, like, he realized how strong he was, and in the moment's notice, he could have instantly died, and he backed right off just like Carnage. I'm like, wait a minute. This made me pause. I'm like, wait a minute. Saitama hesitated to to, to hit someone. Like, it, it was, it was, it was mind-blowing when I seen this. I was like, there's no way this just happened. Because Saitama could take a hit. But the thing is, it's like... Why did he hesitate and back off? Like, like you know, if he had striked, it would have been over. Just like Carnage. I'm just like, whoa. I'm like, did Saitama get scared? I said, I don't believe it, man. I don't believe it. I think maybe his senses are, like, really, you know, up there to know when someone's going to attack a really hit, strong hit. But it's Saitama. He could. Did you not see in the last season taking the attacks from Boros? That dude was melting metal. Metal every kick, he kicked them through a wall and melted the metal by the much force. I'm sure Saitama could have taken that hit, but this is I don't know, maybe it's just JC staff seeing it a little bit different, but maybe it's in the manga. But this is very, very crazy. I, I would never expect Saitama to like have such kind of reaction to something. So then, after that, the guy goes on a spiel talking about martial arts and this and that, kicks him around a few times. And says, well, this is martial art. And it's like, oh, you want to... And then Saitama says something about being a hero. He's like, oh, you want to be a hero? And then the guy starts going in like, yeah, you heroes are weak. You heroes are this and that. And it's like a waste of time. And Saitama's like, oh, okay. Well, now now we've seen like the serious side of Saitama. See how JC Staff want to um, portray his serious side. So we've seen the serious side. And we're like, okay. Like he's about to he's about to go ham on him. So I said, all right, all right, let's see this. Then like they have this like kind of animation where I'm not too much of a fan of, but I'm all right with it. I you know I it it doesn't look like the other like the last one, but I'm still okay with this. So I, I I liked it. I'll I'll have a picture up to show you. And after that, he throws a punch. It is boom. Like it was just like bro. Like he just completely ripped his clothes off. I'm like, wait a minute, he even touch him, and it just shattered his clothes, which we've seen before, where he could just punch the air, and he'll put a hole in the rock. <clears throat> he just punched the air, and ripped his clothes right off, and that dude felt defeated, and then, you know, his wig fell off, and they're like, oh, you know, you're disqualified, this and that, and they're like, oh, great, and then that one dude, his enemy, did not care, he's like, mm-mm. I don't care. Now it's time for the real fight. He's going ham. He did some crazy sick moves. Like like there was a, I mean, there was a scene where he just hits the ground. The whole stadium cracks. Then he kick, he punches. It was a puncher kicks Saitama in the air. He's flying in the air. Then he kicks the ground, and the whole half of the 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 the, the fighting platform raises to the air. I'm like, wait a minute. This dude is super strong. 
And then it stopped Saitama, and then he goes, Brr, he's just wailing on him, wailing on him, wailing on him. And Saitama's just taking it, like, you know, like it's nothing. And he's like, it's whatever. And then after that, the guy's, like, still attacking him, and he's like, and then Saitama's like, all right. I come to a realization where martial arts is just a way to look cool while moving, huh? <laughs> it's just, you know, and he's just not even thinking, you know, like, you know, logically, he's just thinking like a kid. It's like okay, it's just to move cool, you know, real cool while you while you fight or something like that. And, and the guy was like, "Really? After all that I've done right there, that's what you got from it?" So, so, and he hit him probably with his most powerful attack with that punch. It broke like his brace in his arm, and I don't know what those are even for. But I guess it's kind of like how far your muscles are, and if you punch, I guess it kind of like makes it so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just uh, speculating, but he just, he just, all right, Saitama's like, all right, let me try this out, you know, let me try this little bit out, so he's like, all right, let me do a little spinning attack, do, 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 do. <laughs> he starts spinning around in circles, and the guy tries to attack him, and, like, he hits him with his butt, <laughs> and just knocks him out of the ring, I'm like, I was cheering when that happened, I said, that is one punch, man, like, this is, this is one punch, man, like, scene right here, and I'm like, bruh, Bruh, imagine if this dude actually took a hit or a serious hit from Saitama. He'd be dead. He'd be dead. Boros couldn't even take a serious hit. He would be dead. He would just, uh, he's not even an alien. He would just, uh, he would die. He would die. So Saitama obviously can't really put all his oomph into it. The other guys, he just probably pushed them. The other guy, he, look at, he pushed him with his butt and he defeated him. Like, you, you can't, you, you can't, you can't touch this dude. So I'm like, all right, this is this is really good. I like it where JC Staff's going. They're, they're making it really entertaining now. And then it gets to this, and then at the end, it shows. At the end of the the show, you know, it shows a sneak peek, and it shows uh, Genos gets his butt handed to by some monster, and he's like, I don't even know what that was. You know, he was like, man, that's like that's a strong person, like a strong monster, and that monster is definitely stronger than any other monster. I was like, bruh. I said, who is this monster dude? I'm like, to like whoop Janos, like, like, he was in the ground, looked like he was unconscious. So I'm like, bro, this dude's crazy. And then it pans and it says dragon level monster. I'm like, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is going to be good because th this is going to be real good. I'm like a dragon level monster. I'm like, already we're in like episode seven. Yeah, we're in episode seven now. They kind of somewhat introduced a dragon level monster in episode eight. It's gonna, what's it called? It's it's. I, hopefully they show the monster, like as in like what he can do. If he, if they don't show it, I'll be a little bit upset, but that's fine. And the levels, I believe the levels for the thing was like dragon. There was tiger, dragon, god. I think it was. Oh, let me let me let me let me look this up. Danger level. Let's see, let's see. Cause the danger I can't remember the danger levels for nothing, but I know there was Tiger, Dragon, and then there was God. But I'm trying to see like like you know, I wanna know the spectrum more of like how actually strong the these certain levels are. Cause I'm gonna look back. I'm gonna look back actually and then see what level uh um what level did they classify the I think they classified it God. I think they classified Boros as God. So I I'm not 100 percent sure, but I could have sworn they classified as God. If they didn't classify them as God, oh yeah yeah yeah, it's it's Tiger, Dragon, Demon, God. So t there's Tiger, Dragon, Demon. I think I think uh I don't know which level is which level is higher. Let, let me look this up for a moment. Let me look this up. Okay, I'm back. So, I just looked at I had to go on his website, and there shows, this is the order. It's wolf equals any potential threat that possesses any a, a danger to an unknown degree. There's tiger, a threat to a large number of people. A demon, any threat to a city and its people, which at first was, I believe, um, uh, Boros. And then dragon, a threat to multiple cities and God, a threat endangering the survival of a, uh, humanity in general, which I could have sworn Boros was, uh, was it called a level, uh, a God level. Cause at that point he was legit about to level the whole thing. So I'm just like, yeah, he had to be, but 
either way, now we're about to face a dragon, which is second under one under one under God. So it's like if 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 I want to see how strong this guy is, because that can range how strong God would be. If he's giving Saitama a hard time, because I'm pretty sure no other enemy is gonna be able to beat this dude except Saitama. And if he gives Saitama a hard time, I can't imagine the threat level of God. Like it would it would be crazy. Which would probably be the like, you know, the monster king at that point and we'll see that but i'm really excited for the rest of the episode i want to see of the season i want to see it do real good i want to see the rest of it and hopefully everything and like continues to go well and have some comedic you know scenes in there like we've seen before but that is my take on uh one punch man season two episode seven if you guys want to see more subscribe or listen to more subscribe I'm going to be uploading probably about uh, every about every week, every week when when certain shows come out. I'm I'm watching Demon Slayer now, so that's on I think Saturday. So I'll be uploading probably Saturday, Friday, no no Saturday, uh, Sunday area, then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday you'll see some uploads from me. So those are like my times that I'll be doing it because right after I watch, I like to record if I can, and then you know then then upload it, but. If anything, definitely every week you'll see something from me if you guys like it. Alright, see you later.